get a thought of charging, that's that would uh, be counterproductive to what I'm trying to sell, which is you don't need to spend thousands of dollars uh, or be made to feel incompetent or, uh, or ignorant to some basic fundamentals of life. So, uh, yeah. yeah, so I, I was uh, blessed initially with the, the gift of ignorance. Mm. So my mum was uh, mentally ill and uh, went to a hospital to get treatment. I wasn't aware that she was mentally ill. It was part of the breakdown from marriage breaking up. And so we lived with my father for oh, a good four or five months and didn't know where mum was, never saw mum. Hmm. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. I suppose it, it is the gift of ignorance as a, as a, as a young person. And then uh, mum come back into our life, hospital one day when she'd been released and she was going to start her own life uh, in a different city. And again, it was like, hi mum, bye mum, I'm playing at school sort of thing. But then when the formalities of the divorce came through in the hearings, and I remember quite clearly to this day, having to go to a room uh, with this complete stranger and make that life-changing decision about who I wanted to go with. Oh uh, Yeah, I agree, mandatory service. I know a lot of the friends I've worked with in other armies, particularly in uh, Europe, they have uh, conscription, mandatory service. <clears> That's <throat> fantastic. I think uh, the, the, those basic values they learn early uh, are great. Uh, stepping stones for their future life, uh, for what they want to do after that, even if it's just going to professional studies to get a career after that. I agree. Uh, I think one to two years of mandatory service. Very difficult to achieve, of course, because there's a massive mm. amount of budgetary requirements. But mm. yeah, the, the skill sets they would get for those are, are fantastic. You know, they learn a little bit of confidence and uh, self esteem, uh, personal organizational skills, uh, teamwork, respect. Uh, uh, a moral compass that has to be absolutely calibrated to the highest level, which is what army is. Mm. You know, we, the army, our, our branding, our necessity to have such absolute faith of our society in what we do is paramount. But I'm sorry, our moral compass is, is really trimmed. Mm. Those things, I think there's no negatives there. Sure, uh, yeah, you're right. It's probably the darkest decade of my life. So my second marriage, I was in a relationship where there was lots of abuse, domestic violence, basically. And uh, I found myself very isolated from everything in my life. So my ex-wife managed to alienate me from my family, my brother, my son at the time, all my friends. And, and it was purely over this need to control me and my job. So the army played a part in that through no fault of the army. It's about some of those hard choices and sacrifices you make as part of the job having to be mm. away a lot of the time, uh, never being reliable uh, in the family life because you're, you're serving the nation. Yeah. And that built up a really high level of resentment, which turned to mm. violence. And so for wow. a decade, my ex-wife would uh, regularly beat the crap out of me, you know, mm. objects with her fists, with her feet, and you know, spit on me, uh, just absolute mental abuse. You know, um, you're an effing loser. You amount to nothing, you should just go kill yourself. Uh, and it continued, and, and the use of knives, and that would continue yeah. to some horrific levels, you know, 